Hey there, so I may be doing a very simple video to basically get something like this at the end. I, I know it's simple, but I kind of like it, so we're just going to open up a new document. 1280 by 800 because that's my screen size. I just want to do a simple background. So first of all, we're going to just kind of take off our stroke and everything here right away. Oh, wait, never mind. Wrong thing to do that on. Okay, right, we're gonna go to our polygon tool here and actually just make sure it's got only a color. I'm just gonna use that. Okay. Now we're gonna click here, three sides, the radius is gonna be thirty five pixels, it doesn't really matter. I'm just doing that. That's what I like. So then we're gonna have that. We're gonna use our select tool here, just the that don't really know what's called a selection tool okay but then we're gonna make sure it's selected hit control C to copy it and control F to paste it in front and then just click it and hold it and shift at the same time and drag it over to the right change it to whatever color I'm so I like the colors I use here so I'm gonna do okay yeah yellow okay <laughs> Alright, copy, again, control F, again, J okay, I messed, okay, don't really know why I did, but okay. Sorry, I'm having problems, but okay. And then just repeat this, and do whatever colors, I'm going to use the, actually I'm going to do different colors, I don't know, uh, no, orange, purple, pink, and da da da, I don't know, brown, maybe, yeah, okay, then we can just select all of them, oh, go to our brushes panel here, if you don't have this here, you might need to go to window, and check brushes, and it should pop out, but mine's here, so I'm just going to do this, we're going to click this, it looks like a flipping page, uh, when you go over it will say new brush just click that go to art brush okay and I'm gonna click on down so that these ends of it are gonna be at the end of it if that makes any sense you'll see though and hit okay N now it should be here just make sure I'm just gonna hide to that layer and make a new layer because I mean you don't really have to but I'm just used to Photoshop so I'm gonna do that that way if I did mess up I'll have this here and I can redo it so yeah just make sure you can't see that then on this new layer we're gonna go to our pen tool we're gonna make sure it's got no stroke by just clicking on both of these and making sure it's got that line through you can click here and get that then I'm going to just click off the page a little bit here, make a line going here, make one going like that then. And I mean you don't have to do that, it's just however you want it to look, I think that looks good. And I'm going to hit this, and see how that's like at the end, it's thinner, and I'm hand motioning on my screen and you can't really see. Anyways, but okay, so I want to move this a little bit because I don't really like that you can see that. Okay, then you've got that, which I think looks pretty decent, and I mean, you can go click on the path, you can change the opacity to wherever you'd like, maybe have a, like 38 or something, and then I'm just going to copy it, control C, control F, make two of them or something, you know, something like that, maybe, I don't know, you could do a lot with that, probably, or delete that, go back here, make one here, put one here, then go over put it here maybe do that that doesn't look too bad either like if you just wanted to or something I don't know I, I just think it looked kind of neat and simple so yeah maybe that would look good I don't know if you just mess around with it if you want I, th I think that simple one looks pretty good so I'm gonna leave that again I'm gonna go here 
over. I uh, I'm not used to Illustrator. I mean, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna use Myriad Pro, Pro Front Font. Myriad Pro Font. Okay, and go to seventy-two point. Yeah, and hey, I'm just gonna put something here. I'm gonna use Wave Designs and Trinity of Oz there, and here I'm just gonna do. Yeah, I'll just do Trinity of Oz. Uh, that always bugs me, but oh well. Okay, so now I may go here. Oh, you know, I hope I remember the colors I used, but anyways, I'm gonna try to use about the same colors that I used in the. Well, I'm gonna call it the wave, so this thing here is the wave. If I say wave, that's what I mean. So, if you get here, you might want to just try and remember what colors you used. My first one, they're the main colors I ever use in Illustrator, so it's really, really quick and simple. But anyways, here, so I've got my text, and you can do what I did, and all I did that first time was moved this down, holding shift so that it goes straight, by the way. And then I went to where you can see the rotate over here, and rotated about like that, and then moved it. Whatever you know, got it lined up here. I think it looked good with the G or whatever it was kind of on it. You know, and maybe that's not really rotated enough. So I'm gonna redo that a little bit and see that looks kind of good, right? The T is kind of going on to it, and maybe that is a bit dark. I don't know. I I won't bother with it too much. I mean. Just do whatever you want with the colors, pretty much. Yeah, okay, that's better. But now what I'm going to do is go here. If you want it to be arced like I did, there. I'm going to just click here and put... Cool. Oh. Cool design. Okay. Uh, Make the colors wherever you want. I'm just going to match it with that. The design actually uh, maybe I will add something okay um I don't know I mean just just okay see here it's not really gonna have all of the colors but that doesn't really matter I mean just do whatever actually what I might just do is eh, I don't know this but it's all good it doesn't matter that it doesn't have all of the colors so that's just gonna bug me now I'm gonna have to remember where I went uh, <coughs> to get it to where I had it like arc to go to warp arc yeah and I used a 25% but I mean that would be I mean it depends on your wave I guess that you made so Actually, maybe if I went and I'm going to undo all of that and just go back. And since this one, it might be better to have it going down. I'm going to do negative 25. See, and then just move this somewhat. Okay, there. And then this, I'll just have our... Um, okay, I didn't know you could actually edit the effect, okay. Um, okay, I don't really... Okay, uh, I'm just gonna go with that, okay. Um, again, maybe just... Yeah, whatever. Just mess with it, I mean, that's how you're, you can get it like that, so... Yeah, okay. Arc. Uh, that's, I really should take that off. I'm not gonna, but... Yeah, okay, you know, just do whatever you want with that. Get to where you like it. That's how you arc it, basically. You can just kind of tweak it. And, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So, I'll just leave it there. Save it. You know, don't, don't forget to save it. That'd be kind of stupid. I mean, do this and then forget to save it. So, don't do that.
Hey there, so I uh, just told y'all how to get the like basic kind of like the this path. Wait, no, this path here. And anyways, like I, I was as I said, I like, just add on to it some I think this looked pretty neat, right? And then I say, you know, arc the text here. And then I realized there's something really neat that you can put the text onto a path. So you actually don't have to arc it, you can just draw a path and I'll show you that now. I made a new layer called layer four, so I'm gonna start with just make it my statement over again. Simple. And I want this just regular, plain, you know, I wanted to say simple. Okay, and I actually had simple is, wait, what do I have? I don't remember what I had now, but I really liked it simple. Um, da -da -da. I don't remember, but you know, we can work around that. Or something about simple. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so anyways, you're gonna start here. Go to your pen tool, just the regular pen tool, and that add convert nothing like that. Just the regular pen tool, and start follow the curve that you want your text on. I want to here again, so I'm just gonna go start clicking here. Do oh yeah, make sure it's got the. Both of them have white with the red line through it, just make sure, because I don't know if you noticed that, but I didn't, yeah, I mean, it's kind of obvious, but maybe you wouldn't notice that, I don't know, like, I barely did there, the only reason I did is the way this line is, I would have noticed by here when there's like this black shape, and I keep doing hand motions, and then realizing you can't actually see the hand motions, but, alright, uh, so that should be long enough, no need to do the whole thing, so we're gonna go to our text tool here, click it, and hold it down, and still holding it go down, go to type on the path tool here, and then just select the path you just drew, made whatever you want to say and put uh what was it uh i'll just put some here i'm gonna use four words because i want to so uh what's a good thing i thought i used i really love pie okay so that's gonna be the really just that's see how it like follows it and okay now I did this I went to the make sure you're on the main color not the stroke but we're gonna I'm gonna start with the orange then go to really and make that the purple I used make love the pink I used and make pie that brown I used and I mean see the orange kind of it blends in so I'm gonna select the oh that one minute. Select the stroke by clicking on it. Don't switch it because that will switch the colors, but you just need to click on the box. Like, see, you can switch there. Alright. Then when you look up here and you see that's there, I mean, yeah, just make sure you're on that. And then go and just click the color you used. Double click it and just drag it down somewhat so that it's darker. And then repeat for like all of them and after you select the stroke one time you should be okay uh... just make sure because I don't know it, it could mess up I don't know I haven't had to mess up now but besides my mistake so and just do that for every one if you want and it doesn't have to actually say this by the way or be these colors I just think it looks good like that and see to die it looks pretty decent so save it you know all that anyways that's it thank you